They have Yark Jungle, but we have Crit Cane. Who's gonna win? Cane or Yark Jungle? Alright, hey, what's up, Dark Harvest? Oh, I'm gonna explain to you right now. Alrighty, boys, so it's time for some Crit Cane Gaming. We're running Hail of Blades, we got Treasure Hunter, we got Inspiration, and we got the Scaling HP with Double Adaptive. A lot of people are probably gonna be curious why am I not running Attack Speed? You actually do not need Attack Speed for this build. It is one of the best, highest scaling bursts in builds you can go right now. I'm gonna show you how it's done, boys and girls. First things first. I'm probably gonna look to get an early ward on the York Jungle. And another good thing about the uh, cane is that crit, a lot of crit items just got buffed. So you have very good bursts. You have easy access to ability haze. And with Halo Blades, you're actually gonna be getting a faster form. I learned this from the Brazilian cane main. So shout out all the boys from Brazil, 07. Specifically Hero Lone, my goat. So I'm kind of using a lot of influence from that playstyle and putting in NA. And I definitely encourage all of you to try this out. It is incredibly fun. Now let's get into it. I'm probably gonna start Raptors this game. We're playing in like Masters Plus NA right now. And I'm gonna look to be as proactive as I can on the map into this matchup because this York Jungle, uh, I know it might seem very troll, but York Jungle is a champion that is just gonna look to AFK farm all game. So I'm gonna look to try and be as proactive on the map. Making invades or looking for ganks is one of the best ways to play against somebody who's gonna AFK farm. If you guys were ever curious how to play into these type of champions and playstyles. So your Karthuses, your Evelyns, your Shivanas, etc. All right. Now, first item we're gonna be getting is actually gonna be Collector. We're gonna look to get Navori. Navori will kind of act like a crit variant of Shojin, if you guys know how Shojin works. So it's gonna give us a lot of abilities. So it's actually gonna work really well for our combo. And I'll kind of get into it as we get to those items. We're gonna get Ioni boots, we're gonna get LDR. And like I mentioned, a lot of crit items got buffed, so you have a really good scaling playstyle. Okay, they're very close, or they're very far off from being level two, so I actually might not be able to look for an early gank here, which is kind of tragic for me, I must say. Do like two more minions, I'd say. make sure I kill her even if she flash. Look at the amount of orbs we got off that one fight. Woo nice. That's huge. I'm gonna go look for my top side. Hopefully I didn't get invaded. Start the game out with double longsword. That's a very nice uh, early gank clear right there if you guys ever want to try this out. Okay, there's Yark. He's just doing a full clear up it looks like. Oh, he's gonna get all that top CS. What a lucky ducky. I think so. Maybe he's just gonna go for the top scuttle. I don't even know, actually. I have mastered every weapon of war. No prattling tool will be exception. I actually might die here. I actually died to that guy. Oh my god. Oh nice, he got a kill though. Nice. Huge. I'm gonna look bot. Honestly, I might just gank again and look to get a really early form. Early form? Definitely worth giving up camps for. Definitely. It's controlled. I had a feeling by the way that they were playing. Like, yep, that seems awarded. I'm coming. No, you're kidding. I actually get a five minute form, I think. Wait, do I? No, look how close it is! Bro. Good chat. Good chat. No way. <laughs> I was so close. All good, all good. I can go invade this guy's bot side right now. Look, he has 28 CS, so he didn't form any of his bot side camps yet. That's why it's very important to like track CS. Very sad that I died to the York, but at the same time, you could definitely see how this is like a great playstyle. It's like they have AFK farm. They're just gonna have like no presence on the map. 
You know what? I could definitely look for another gank bot after this. You know what? We're still getting a really early form, boys. Don't you worry. You guys believe in the Halo Blade tech now, or what? I mean, as long as I get form, it's fine, right? I did. Nice. Intake for form. Pog. I really thought we'd be able to get at least a kill there or something. I don't know. Form, though. Sweet. Oh, nice. A fish even got the kill. A fish. You take all my top side? Let me check. Oh, he didn't. Wow, okay, that's huge. Wait, I didn't even get it. my top side invaded. Wait up a second. This is actually amazing for me. Super early form. I think this game will be very well. Yeah, the sweet thing about getting early form is that when you're blue cane, you just farm two times as fast. I mean, you move around the map two times as fast. You're able to make twice as much plays. So really early form is definitely worth being a little bit behind, right? It'll make it so much easier to catch up. Because that's normally what Kane is all about. Is that you try not to fall too far behind your first form, but then when you get your form, you ultimately like start catching up and then you start like passing them. It's like it's like running a relay race and you know you have the weak links in the front or in the beginning, and then you uh, have like the anchor who is the fastest at the end. Oh, that's huge. At the shutdown, we take it. Oh, he gets the Q reset. Get out of there, Twitch. Get out of there, little rat. Tier 2 boots first, tier 2 boots. Nice! That's so huge. Oh my god. Huge. Absolutely huge. We got the dragon. We got the shutdown. A lot of good plays done, my boys. Getting a lot of good plays done, I must say. <laughs> Look, all this guy did is farm all game. And I'm same CS as him. While also having 7 KP. You know what I mean? And getting a super early form. I should have actually caught all that CS. Still time. Aw. Oh. Okay. If I did that faster, the wave would not have been in such a bad position for Twitch. That's my fault. I should have been looking at that. Too busy thinking about going to the grubs. I have my collector right now. I'm not sure if I want to fight this. I mean, I do have ult, which is huge. Uh, we definitely just have to focus on killing TF right now. If we can. Giving six rubs. I guess so. My enemies will have no place to hide. I just space him out here. Nice! 
That's not bad. That's not bad. Oof. Not bad. Not bad. We take those. I want to get. I want to get a grub. I don't want to give six grubs against that team. TF, Yorick. No, dude. They're gonna like cause so much havoc in the side lane. Let's just get rid of that. Let's 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 not let's not do that. Let's not do that. You know. Let's avoid that right now while we can. Nice. Halo Blaze will help a lot when it comes to like killing Yark's little goalies as well. Okay, I got Collector. I honestly might go my tier 2 boots early this game. Normally I don't go too early, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. And now, next, I would get Navori, like I mentioned for that ability ace. Then we get Lord Dommies. Another three item spike build, just like the uh, Yumu's Axiom Grudge. A little bit more expensive, but way better scaling. And I'll show you guys that slick combo. Basically, WQ, auto, auto, auto for the uh, Navori. Then you get another WQ, and then you can look to ult somebody else. So you pretty much get, get a guaranteed one shot on somebody. You can auto them, and then um, use your ult to kill somebody else. Alright, we're good. The good thing about this game, too, is that we have Twitch, who's, like, scaling really hard. We also have Jax, who's scaling really hard. He's gonna want this dragon, so I'm gonna look to take it. Shen might ult, and if he does, Jax will literally get a tier 2 tower. A tier 2 tower, that's nuts, by the way. Gonna go for the dragon now? Nice. Good stuff, boys. So that's kind of what the combo could look like as well, where you just get the uh, WQ auto auto auto. And just start autoing them. And you, like I said, you get a lot of damage off that Halo plays autos. One jungle, it's pretty good. You know what you're doing. Well, Yorick doesn't just come straight here and chow me. His ulti has a very long CD, so killing him and getting his ulti down is really good at any point. Nice. Probably gonna reset and get that uh, gift sword. All he's gonna look to do all game, it just looked to like solo objectives, so as long as we're like matching him at objectives, we should be fine. I'm gonna look for this rift because I don't want to give this. Normally, I would want to reset here and get like a BF sword long sword. You know, get like a bonus 50 damage, pretty nice, but you have to understand how like certain playstyles work. And you have to like look to counter it. So if you're just gonna look to farm, AFK farm, and AFK farm objectives, you stop him before you can do it. I'm pretty confident with my smites into this guy too. I'm not really worried about like a smite fight. I think a fed fizz is really nice too because fizz can always just lock someone down with his ult. If he ult somebody, we're just gonna kill them. I gotta get my full combo off during that ult duration when they're uh... Are they knocked up? What like what? I forget what it really is. It's not a knock up, I don't think. Like something else. A knock back, I think. I'll send the rift mid right now. Alright. Oh, wow, we can get a lot done with this. Three crashes. Three crashes is nasty. I don't know if we want to take this inhib. I don't know if we want to take this inhib, to be honest. Yeah, get that rift the hell out of Get the rift the hell out of there, man. 
got the inhib? Oh, that's bad. Early inhib like this is not never a good idea. Hating him. <laughs> hey, Dara. Sweet. He really tried to run me down there with Stride Breaker and uh, Ghost Phase Rush. Getting Stride Breaker into Blue Cane is very useless because your slow or your your E gives you slow immunity. It doesn't give you like a lot of people think it like it resists like it it's, it it lowers the effects of a slow. No, it makes you immune to slows, so you don't get slowed at all. Oh, nice! This Fizz is just gaming right now. And then we got our, our items soon, so I'm just gonna stay on the map so I can get it. To be honest, just keep farming. Be kind of a supportive teammate this one, you know, nine assists. Nice. Having all the dragon control too is super nice, this one. Just all the scaling in the world with this Jax and the Fizz. A little invading. Alright. Now we get Navori. So, like I mentioned earlier, this kind of works like a uh, crit version of Shojin. It'll be really good for us. We're probably gonna FF soon. This game's looking over. Can't even do anything. We have so much like so much control over the entire map right now. Gonna start taking all this guy's camps. Early in him's bad because these supers. I gotta kill the enemy wave. They're also gonna give them more gold and more XP. So I probably could one v one him, but I also am kind of worried at the same time. I don't know that champion's damage up, but all too well. It's say it play against a lot of Yorks, you know? No one saw that. 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 It actually trolled so hard, and we might lose Dragon off that. No, no, I, I mean, my team can still, can still win the fight, right? I did not know what I was thinking there. Uh. Yikes. It's okay, we're almost at LDR. We get a massive spike. Dude. Why'd I do that? Okay, three dragons. Big. Do like that, WQ, and then you just auto three times and see how your abilities are coming back up? Do something like that. I saw that? No, you didn't. Avert your eyes. Avert your eyes. Kills so you can get mage eyes. We definitely look to get the Baron right now. Okay. 
<laughs> oh. Hello, team. Alright, so we're gonna get Last Whisper, like I said. The, the end build would look like LDR into Navori into Bloodthirster. You get 100% crit, you get around 500 total AD, and you have a lot of armor pad as well because of the LDR. So basically, you're just one shotting people. You literally can kill people in like two autos late game. I don't know if we're gonna make it to late game, but we'll see. I made it to late game a good amount of times in this build, though. It's really fun. I feel like this game's better to kill people, though, because this is like a game where things didn't go as smooth. Now, this is a little bit more of a struggle game. But you can see, still see, like, how much strength it has. Alright. Invade my red. LDR is also cheaper than Grudge, too, by like 200 gold, so that's kind of a W. Kind of a W. I want to help this guy, but let's see. I can't do anything. Not bad. Huge. Zed says hello and goodbye. We have no wave for bots, so we can't really do much here. I look to admit right now. Oh, that's not good. Okay, it's only worth like a hundred gold though. Nice. Oh, dude, I lagged so hard right there. What? I swear I could have killed him. Yeah, I lagged like a. What the hell? Okay, well we flash. Okay, which are Fizz on the way? Oh, he's dead. Ah, nice. Oh, we got the LDR. Also gives you the giant slayer bonus, and because this build has no HP, you're pretty much always guaranteed to get bonuses from this, because a lot of mages in the meadow build HP, supports always build HP. Tanks have HP, and then, I mean, junglers are firewolf. You have HP, so you're usually getting like three or four people a game that you're benefiting on the Giant Slayer buff on. You guys don't know what Giant Slayer does. Basically, the more HP that they have over you, the more damage you're gonna deal to them. There's a good way for like ADCs to murder tanks, or if you're an assassin, they're murdering tanks now. It's sweet. Speaking of which, let me go see if I can kill Shen. A little bit hard because he's one of the few like champions of the game that can just like cancel my auto attacks, but I think they can get it without me, no? Reset my passive. Yep. So you kind of murder him, right? <laughs> and that's only three items. If you ever struggle with tanks, just know. This build will murder tanks as well. It murders everybody. It's the best scaling build you can do in the game for Kane. If you're looking for burst. Burst those pesky tanks. Uh, I just go in one by one. I can't do anything for you there. All 
god. See you later. Oh. They're passive. Gives you bonus magic damage. Pretty OP, actually. Let's go get him, Blitzcrank. I'm with you, buddy. Oh, Jesus. There you go. There you go. Nice. Ooh. We got Baron right now. We have two inibs. The Baron. Oh, this game is looking good, fellas. Next item we would get Navori, and keep in mind, Navori is actually makes it very good for splitting because you're gonna get that Sheen proc. And because you're using a lot of abilities with your combos, it's gonna give you way more damage on your autos. And look how many times I use my Halo Blades this game, like. It's pretty cracked, I kid you not, fellas. That we just do the Baron. All good. He wants to split bot. It's all good. I love that if I tag one of them with Hex Tech, I can ult any of them. Do Baron. Next, my applying pressure at the bot side. Do you have Navori? Oh, I meant Essence, sorry. The Essence Reaver. Heck, when you're full build, you literally get 100% crit and you just guarantee one shotting people. One auto. <laughs> Close to my essence spike. I don't want to farm a little bit more just to get it, but same time we should look to end soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think I'm just gonna group. I think I'm just gonna group. How much I want to get this essence right now? Just grouping right now is important. I don't want to waste the bear duration. For one person, like, start splitting. No, dude. He insta golded. Woo! Okay, wait. Oh, good job. I had exhausted and he insta golded. That's so sad. Oh, uh, dude, he disappeared. <laughs> Alright, GG's. Pretty good stats. I'll show you guys all my stats right here. GG's. Hope you boys enjoyed.